Hello readers, I'm Jessie Quinn from Cup of Books and welcome to another monthly minis. This monthly minis video is actually going to be covering several months in 2013. From about September 2013 to December 2013, I read quite a few books that I planned on doing mini reviews on and just didn't get around to it by the time the year ended. The Secret Lives of the Four Wives by Lola Shonyan. This is a novel about a polygamous household in Nigeria. Frenchie D already reviewed this book, so I'm going to link to that review and I highly recommend you go watch it because that is the reason I read this book. I really like the complexity of the characters. I feel like all the women in this novel are very multifaceted and I really appreciated that. I did feel like sometimes the plot was a little too predictable or that the foreshadowing was a little too on the nose, but overall I really enjoyed Shonyan's blunt style. I would highly recommend this book and I intend to look up other works by this author. You should definitely go check it out. Awoken by Sarah Ellison. This is a parody young adult paranormal romance about a self-loathing teenager who falls in love with the elder god Cthulhu from Lovecraft. I have been following this project since its conception and when the book finally came out I had to read it. Awoken intentionally showcases a lot of really problematic tropes in young adults literature. Personally I would have liked a lot more critique from this one, but it is still a great conversation starter. I laughed, I groaned, I live blogged, and while I only gave it two stars out of five stars on my Goodreads account, those are the most enthusiastic two stars I have ever given a book of this caliber. Yes, it is a horrible read, but it's meant to be horrible, and because of that I actually kind of recommend it. Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. Hours after proclaiming she once witnessed a murder, a teen is found drowned in a tub of bobbing apples at a children's Halloween party. It does not take long before Miss Marple is on the case. Now I like Halloween and I like Agatha Christie mysteries, so it was pretty much guaranteed that I was going to enjoy this book. It is not the strongest Miss Marple novel out there. It is not the greatest of the Agatha Christie mysteries. But even so, it made for some really fun reading in October and I would still recommend it. Is Everyone Hanging Out Without Me and Other Concerns by Mindy Kaling? This is a collection of humorous autobiographical essays written by Mindy Kaling on various subjects. I wish this collection would have focused just a little bit more on her experiences with the television industry because when she was talking about the business I was hooked and I found the humor really spot on in those sections. Some of the other essays in this however were a bit hit or miss with me. I imagine this book would have been a lot funnier on audiobook so maybe it was my mistake. I liked it, I would still recommend it if you're interested in it, but I didn't think it was amazing. Foreigner by Nahid Rachlin. This novel is about an Iranian woman who returns to Iran to visit her family after years of living in the United States. The story was interesting, but I never felt I was as invested as I wanted to be. There was so much potential with this novel to really dig into the relationships between the family members, but the overly simplistic, overly straightforward writing style held this one back. I was looking for more depth in this story and in the writing style, and I never really got it. If you're interested in checking out this book, I would recommend borrowing it first just to get a feel on whether this one's for you. Love Devours Tales of Monstrous Adoration by Sarah Deemer. This is a collection of fantasy and sci-fi short stories all featuring queer leading ladies. Some of the stories I could have lived without in this collection, but then we have stories like The Witch Sea, Our Ladies of the Wolves, and The Forever Star which just knock it out of the park. I loved those stories. As a collection, this one lacks some cohesiveness, but it is still very enjoyable. I'm not entirely sure whether this collection was aimed towards adults or teens, but I would recommend it for both. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. This book is about an orphan named Harry Potter who lives with his horrid aunt and uncle. On his 11th birthday, he discovers that he's actually a wizard and he gets to attend the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. This was a reread for me, so let me keep this brief. I found this first book in the Harry Potter series still very charming, still very whimsical, and I absolutely love the snarky narration J.K. Rowling's writing style provides. 
I will say that this book isn't perfect. It has its flaws. I personally don't care for some of the descriptions about Dudley's weight because they come off as a bit mean-spirited and there's so many other aspects of Dudley's character you could criticize him about. So many other. That being said, I still really love this series and I still really love the first book. I could think of no better way to end 2013 and I'm really glad I pulled this off the shelf to reread it once again.